Hello everyone and welcome back to this new tutorial. Today I will show you how to use async and await in Node.js, which is a new way to write asynchronous code. It is built on promises and it is non-blocking and behaves like a synchronous code. To use async and await in Node.js, you need a version of Node.js above 7.6 and right now I am using Node, uh, Node version that is 8.9.1. So first, let's take an example. These are my two files, file1 and file2.txt. This is my object, which is right now uh, empty, and I wanted to send it back to the client after reading these two files. So now let's uh, run this function. Uh, obviously, it won't work because these two are asynchronous function. So uh, in order to um, to do this, the first option would be using a callback chaining. So when uh, the first function is completed, that is over here, you would have just pasted over here and uh, you could have uh, pasted or send it over, send the data over here, which works. But uh, right now we are using only two functions, but if the number of function increases, obviously it would have become complicated. So uh, in order to avoid this, we have another option that is promises. So uh, we are just defining two functions, function do a, which returns a new promise. And just copy this function over here also and name it do b copy the first asynchronous uh, function in do a or the same over here so instead of assign assigning the value we could have just uh, result it is called which is a callback function and the same over here right so uh, first we will call back the do a function and then we could have assigned the value and then do b and this also works but now it is time to use async and await and and to show you how simple is it to do this so in order to use async and await we will first define an asynchronous function function main you can just call it over here and uh, So we are now first assigning the values. My object data one that is equal to await and the asynchronous function and for the data two do b. And now let's run it again and it also works so here is the difference between <coughs> the using uh, callback chaining promises and async and await 
obviously the reason is using a sync and await is more easy to use and it is more understandable and works like a synchronous way so uh, this was our today's tutorial if you like the video you can just give it a like and if you have any suggestions or anything you can just give it in the comments and i will see you next time bye bye and thanks for watching